Hello, hello everybody. We are going to be continuing our Pokemon Coliseum adventures. I uh, quickly went and moved Suicune into main position so that we can try to whittle away at their shadow Pokemon status, unless the game is just going to be like, oh, by the way, uh, Venus actually has a uh, the time flute too, because they're apparently multiple. But we shall continue, because now we have to chase down Venus. Yeah, because, you know what, I'm curious. Because this leads to the elevator. And I just want to see if it'll, it'll give, like, text. Nope. <laughs> Basically what I assumed when I first exited and saw her take the elevator. It's a big old chase down. We already beat you. And she was like, oh, are you going to make me cry? And then I did. Because I'm a criminal. What the? What's this little boy and girl doing all the way down here? What's Freina doing up top? Crying. I'm going to make you cry too, likes. Well, again, what is with the names of these characters? Shadow Curlia? Maybe? <gasps> Probably wouldn't be able to get use him because I already have an Espeon, but Shadow Curlia? Nope, just normal. Oh, let's see, I guess Psybeam you and Shadow Rush the Curlia. This way we can try to uh, essentially power level down the Shadow Heart of Suicune. The real question is how did the criminal organization get the legendary dogs? Are uh, you gonna calm your mind before <laughs> before I explode you with mine? Suicune is in hyper mode. I'm going to call to you. Lower down your heart. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh! I see. Lowering the heart of darkness for a legendary takes a long time, I guess. Well, I mean, considering what must have happened. To him, it's a legendary. Already not really friendly with humans. At least in these games. Oh, that's the shout Pokemon. Interesting. As intimidate. Weird. How dare you do a little dance. And blow up my Suicune with your mind. This is a poor day. Well, I guess I'll attack Stantler with return. Try to capture it. I'm not gonna, like, worry over it. It's not super duper important. You motherfucker! Why'd you get a critical like that, you bitch? I'm gonna send out my boy. My boy, Lammy. And I'm gonna paralyze you. And of course you go into hyper mode. You have yet to do a single thing. All right, first thing, we are going to paralyze you, and I forget, actually, yeah, we're going to call to you to, again, lower the shadows of your heart, as little as it is, per call. Takedown is a bitch of a move. Well, luckily, you already did it for me. Hmm. 
And since that's already paralyzed, on your move, I shall... Well, what am I doing? I'm not gonna throw an Ultra Ball at you. I'm gonna throw a Great Ball. You don't deserve Ultra, Stantler. You don't deserve Ultra. Ultra isn't what you deserve. And, uh, raise your health, I guess. If Lammy dies, oh well. <laughs> they already paralyzed the bastard, so everything should be fine. One, two, only two. But as it continues to try and, like, use takedown, presumably. Oh, Shadow Rush. All your moves are just, like, <laughs> knock back against you. Who should I throw out? I guess Bianca. Hmm. I guess I will quickly... I forget. Because isn't how it stack up... Like, Psychic type is good against Ghost but Dark is good against Psychic. Ah, oh, well, we can at least try it. Uh, we'll try and get rid of Curlia. So it'll stop harassing my Suicoon. I'm just... Oh, wait, that, that now Shadow Rush is going to go to Stantler. Oh, well, if it dies, it dies. You can dramatically do the splits, but you're still going to die. Oh, now you don't go into hyper mode. I see your M.O. I see how you dance today. And now another great ball, because you don't deserve an ultra. You don't deserve premium. And call because we don't want to kill it. If we can get it, we can get it, but I'm not going to go like, no, like I did for, I think, the quillfish, or was it the rimmerade? I think it was both. Only one? You have less health and you're paralyzed. You little bitch. I'm a Stantler. I'm gonna break out after only one. What move... What typing is takedown? You'd think that if... My brain, for some reason, wants to say normal. Which would have gone through Ghost. So I guess it's not normal. I don't know what it would be. Maybe fighting? Takedown, fighting. One. I feel like the game is cheating. My first... My first Pokeball did two wiggles. It is now vastly weaker. Continues to smack itself upside the head. And it only has... It has gone through two more Pokeballs at one wiggle apiece. I feel like it is cheating me. You're not gonna get an Ultra Ball. You're undeserving. So you're going to whittle away at your own health, or you're gonna get in the ball. You're either gonna commit Sepulchre, or you're getting in the ball, Stantler! You can't even evolve in this game. That's like... Over 10 years in your future. So you have chosen death. Either that or you're gonna live with one HP. What you gonna do, Stanny? What you gonna do, you gonna die? It has decided to die. Of which good, you're undeserving even of an Ultra Ball. Get out of here. What's with this ridiculous power? I have two legendaries. Even if one didn't really want to attack today. I know I freen up top let you two through. Oh, I get it. I get it real good. And now we're going to go back and heal. And save so that Statler can be damned. To eternity of darkness in its heart. 
just like it fucking deserves. Also, well, that's not the Pokemon Center at all. Although I did just kind of realize it's a little... Hmm. Which is, like, worse or better? Having Shadow Pokemon, but giving them abili the ability to hurt themselves. So, like, on the one hand, like, oh, if Shadow Rush does recoil damage, that means that Shadow Pokemon have a way to deal damage to themselves and make them more likely to be caught by your Pokeballs. But then, as we see, the game is a bitch. Oh, yeah, because the Stantler with no HP and also paralyzed, that's not, that's not liable to be caught. I wonder what this way is. What's the side room? Why does this feel like a choice? If I go down one path, the other will close eternally. Well, let's go left. Timer ball. Don't kind of care, because... I think that's just like the more turns in a in a battle, the better chance. But like, I don't know how good it is compared to other Pokeballs. Like, is it just Pokeball that gets better with time, or is it like Great Ball that gets better with time? I don't know. Hello, lady. You want to fight and die? Well, what do you know? I hardly thought I'd have to get involved in this. Lanya, Lanya. Your names are all weird. Octillery and Masquerade. Bug and Octopus Monster. I think that evolves out of fish? Or was it the Manting? Manta Ray? I don't know. How does a bug have Intimidate? Well, I guess let's get rid of the Octillery first. Uh, murder that bitch. Now Shadow Rush, unless you go Hyper Mode. Okay, good. I also noticed that, like, the one time that, like, Suicune got to attack before it was attack against Stantler. Well, you'll get synchronized, you stupid little bug. Good. Get synchronized, you little bitch. Octazooka. You know, something named after Bazooka felt that would be a, a bit more, but then it wasn't. Why does it feel like Shadow Rush isn't doing much on Suicune? Could just be the stat differential. Will you stop inking my dog? Ah, great. Now we're gonna have to do Swifts. And of course, this game is a bitch. <laughs> we're gonna paralyze you, then we're gonna lower your accuracy. Like, why would you do this to me? Get swifted, I guess. And I guess kill the- Of course you are. Is this going to be the round where I get to do nothing? Because paralyzed? <laughs> okay, good, I actually get to do something. The bug is still gonna kill my Espeon. Because I was like, yeah. Also, no, will you be paralyzed? No, you don't get paralyzed. Only I'm allowed to be paralyzed. How dare you? That is a little annoying. We were both paralyzed for the same amount of time. Oh, but I get affected. It got three moves. How dare you. You little bastarding bitch of a bug. And it's in hyper mode. That is kind of annoying that it eats moves like that. I kind of understand it, but it's still very annoying. Like, I don't know. It's like... Randomly having a Pokemon be paralyzed at the beginning of a fight. Sure, it increases critical hit chances. But, like... It I don't really see the point of using it when you can instead use it to try and, like, 
lower the darkness of a Pokemon's heart, so I don't know. It just feels weird. Especially because the only way to get rid of Hyper Mode is to call out its name, so you waste two turns. So, yeah, like, I guess the... I don't know, it just feels weird. Because, the like, if a Pokemon gets diddly dee dod by Hyper Mode, it doesn't get its turn. But then, if you want to get rid of Hyper Mode, bada bing, you have to use another turn. When it feels like, I don't know. It just feels weird. Because... I can kind of understand it eating away a turn because, like, oh, it gives better criticals. Critical chances. But, like... Like, I don't know. Maybe your Pokemon does it, like... I'm trying to think of, like, a, a way that's less annoying because if a Pokemon con consistently gets into hyper mode, you can just end up not using that Pokemon for the battle, basically. If you're constantly calling out to it to exit the mode. There's a shadow Pokemon in these walls. And it feels like the Masquerain has only been paralyzed by the paralysis once. I guess I will confuse you, 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 you bastarding bitch. And then maybe I can throw out Lammy and paralyze you at the same time. Okay, yeah, back to my ponderings on hyper mode. Because... It kind of makes sense that it wants to waste your turn upon activation of hyper mode. Because... It gives better criticals, so if you actually utilize... You are annoying. And I don't know who they're attacking. Suicune is part ice type, right? Does ground... But ground should be weak to ice, so I don't know its game plan. I guess I'll just use Hyper Potion. Yeah, I'll use Hyper Potion. Like, I could maybe... Oh, wait, no, I can't because I just used an item. I doubt it'll let me go back. No, that makes him wonder. Interesting. So if you use an item that's automatically used, you can't go back if you use it on your first turn. That's interesting. Makes sense, but it's kind of interesting. And then, um, I guess if it goes first. Never mind, you act uh, activate Hyper Mode, so that works too. Haha. <laughs> Idiot. It's still underground. And, uh, call out to you. Yeah, I keep getting distracted from my hyper mode ponderings. Because it's just annoying in that... You... Because there's two types of plays that you can do of hyper mode. Either get rid of it to lower the darkness in a Pokemon's heart, which is a little annoying due to the fact that you then have to waste two turns. So it's kind of like weird and annoying. You're trying to use your Pokemon, but then the Pokemon go no. And boom, you're out of two turns. But if you want to use Hyper Mode, it's like you waste one turn, but then you get better criticals. That Pillow Swine was in such better condition than that Stantler. I never ever thought I'd take a fall this easily! Well, you know what they say. Die. I'm a loser. I can't show my face in front of Lady Venus like this. Man, I guess we'll go back and heal everything up just because we can. 
Because why not? <laughs> At this rate, I feel like I'll go through PowerPoints very quickly. But yeah, overall, I guess I'm just going to move on from the hyper mode thing. It's just like, it just feels weird that it eats up so many moves. So many moves. Like, it made more sense when it felt like hyper mode was, like, uh, when called out to getting rid of tons of shadow heart thing. The shadow heart bar, just lowering it super quickly. But then comes along... Suicune, who's just very slowly going down. Very, very slowly. It could be that maybe the longer that you have a Shadow Pokemon, or also maybe the level of the Shadow Pokemon dictates it. But it's also, an, like, it's also mostly annoying because when you're actually trying to make story progress, like, the Shadow Pokemon gets into hyper mode again and again and again. The moment you go to grind a Shadow Pokemon's heart to open up, bam. Bam, the game says no hyper mode for you. Creepy piano in this funky time music. And we got some Ultra Balls. Nice. Well, lady, you want to fight? <laughs> We're going to run to the sta oh, station, not stadium. Forget about getting past me. I'll protect Lady Venus from you. Do we have to call, like, Sailor... Sailor Moon? Sailor Earth. The ultimate. Oh, he Sneasel! He Sneasel's in this game. I like Sneasel. Sneasel's nice. Of course, la oh, the Sneasel is one? Damn it. I, because I have Suicune, I can't really justify putting a Sneasel on the team because if I recall, Sneasel is Ice Dark? Or am I being dumb? I am terrible at remembering typings. But it's just like overall, I don't think that Sneasel has coverage that I don't already have of, like, Suicune and Umbreon. Disappointment! Damn it! Hmm. Well, I guess we'll bash at the Sneasel, lower its health, and try to capture it quickly. Never mind, that Sneasel's gonna fucking die! Unless Suicune enters hyper mode now. You're not going to, because you're a bitch. <laughs> this game is evil. Two! Two critical hits, I think? Or did the return just do a ton of damage? Oh, well, it's not like I would have been able to use it anyway. Oh, hey, Survivor! Yeah, it, like, raises attack, but... Confusion. But I am massively disappointed. Again, it's not like I would have been able to use the Sneasel. Because, like, again, the type coverage that Sneasel could have given me... Just isn't... Super valuable to me. Well, I guess depending on what Suicune's moves are. And besides, even though I, as like, again, I associate Sneasel with Dark-type and Ice-type, I already have... What are you doing? I think that Loudred wants to commit suicide. Well, let's just give it to him, I guess. Unless Confusion hit yourself. Okay, the game's being kind after taking away my Shadow Sneasel. And now you enter Hyper Mode. The Coral is attacking back. 
What an awful day for humanity. Yeah, just keep bashing it while I call out to Suikun. Just <laughs> whittle away at that darkness of heart. Whittle away. Not the spike cannon. And then I guess we'll just blast you. Blast you to death. With the power of mind. Also, the kind of funny irony of a Corsola first appearing down here in the, like, sludge ruins of the Under. When only years later will it, would it get a, like, <laughs> Someone please protect me! The irony. But, like, years later, Corsola would get a pollution, just dead coral evolution or, like, variant. This makes me feel like going somewhere far away by train. What's the... What's that song? It's like, just a city boy. Da 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 Taking the midnight train anywhere. Once again, we shall run back to heal. Because in the Pokemon world, healthcare is free. For Pokemon, that would be honestly hilarious. If, like, in the Pokemon world, because Pokemon battles are, like, such a big thing, like, healing for Pokemon is all free. It's paid for by taxes. But then the moment that, like, a human breaks their leg, they're like, Now you have to pay a hundred thousand Poke Dollars. Which, honestly, is probably still cheaper than in America. Because Poke Dollars are more similar to Yen than actual dollars. But it would be kind of funny. With how popular Pokemon violence is. There's just a huge initiative from making sure that Pokemon are all healthy. And then uh, in comes along like that one villain, I think, from the fifth generation? Who was like, Pokemon should be free and not enslaved to fight. Then he gets beat up and he can't pay for his medical bills. While all his Pokemon get their medical bills paid immediately. Before that horrible boy can meddle anymore, I'll link up with Ayn at the Shadow Pokemon Lab. Eek! Eek! Why do you have to chase me here? It's so unfair! Ch this isn't good. I can't lead them to the lab. I already know where the lab is. Also, are we just going to leave, uh... Are we just going to leave, uh, Silva? Because <laughs> it's, it's feeling like we're just going to leave Silva locked up. Which kind of amuses me. Black glasses? That's a held item, obviously. But like, what? <laughs> what, what is black glasses? It turns your Pokemon into a Blues Brother. Let's see, Black Glass is a hold item that raises the power of Dark-type moves. We're gonna give that to Umbreon. Oh wait, you have the Quick Claw, but I guess that doesn't really matter. Get it. The Quick Claw wasn't really, like, making him go first all that much anyway. Then who should I give the Quick Claw? I guess we can... I, I guess we can give it to Father. Or maybe Lammy, so Lammy can, like... We'll give it to Lammy just on the offhand chance we ever throw him out and we want him to be like, Lammy, paralyze that son of a bitch. Break his spine. And, uh, yeah, then we can. Okay, now I'm curious. Obviously... Hmm. And I'm curious, is there a difference in which one I go? And I'm going to be contrarian. I'm going to come in through here. Do I even have it? I don't think so. Nope. 
We're coming in from behind. What? <laughs> what? Oh, you are so easy to dupe. See, the key for the shadow liner is right here. You didn't think I'd really let you take our train. Bah! Bye-bye, and this time I mean it. Don't you dare forget about me. And then they're just gonna fucking book it. Are you gonna take the elevator back up? Wait, what? I could have missed that easily. But... Okay, I think we don't have to chase them. Well, I guess let's use it, because we can! Subway time! We will make the... Like, the, the subway battle challenge long before Emmett and Ingo. Let's go. Let's ride! Floating train time! I probably should have saved, but oh well. More funky music. Play that harmonica! Oh, at least my ally backs up. Not... You'd be surprised how many games that have, like, people that follow you around don't have them, like, back up or let you walk through them. Oh no. I guess, uh, <laughs> The tried and true method. They have doors there for a reason. A little... I personally would have had them auto-attack you unless they're gonna be like, No, we'd, we're not gonna fight you, we're just gonna stand here. Yo, how's it going? Just getting off shift? Huh? Wasn't Lady Venus supposed to be coming today? Huh, hmm, I've seen your faces somewhere. That's it! The Blacklist! You're Neon and Rui! How did you get down here?! Uh, this won't do! We can't let these two get into the Shadow Pokemon Lab! And then they're just gonna fucking run. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what? What? They just fucking blew up, blow it up? What? What? <laughs> I didn't expect. I didn't. You disc. Up disc. But you couldn't go up in it. Oh, that's interesting. Up disc. Okay. There's a Z axis to the, to the UFO. Ha! Take that and weep. You'll never be able to chase us now. Whoa, don't you think that was overdoing things a little? Uh, yeah, it's too late now. Come on, let's skedaddle. What kind of explosion did they have to do this? Like, seriously. It carved a whole schism into the ground. Main gate key. The idiots in their preparation of bombing. Then what is even the point of the train? <laughs> What's the point of the train if it's just here to get us the main gate key? Like, I don't know, I, I, you'd think that the train would have more importance considering they modeled the train to make it float. They have a whole animation of it going. But... <laughs> so it's just like, we go through the train, she's like, haha, we fooled you. This is the key, runs away, drops the key, I pick up the key, I use the train, they're like, oh shit, it's the, the people that are angry at us. And now the elevator works. I mean, I, I, I mean, we, I guess we earned it. But like, be it funny if there was like an ambush at the top. And it looks like all her minions are gone. So, 
Uh, no rematching for the Stantler or the Sneasel. Sadness. But again, that's just kind of um, just hilarious. I didn't expect there to be another explosion in this game. I probably shoulda. Do my Pokemon need healing? Doesn't look like it. Oh yeah, because I don't think we got into a fight. I thought we were going to have a fight. We ran into four unfought, like, Cypher agents. And they just, like, didn't fight us. They just didn't care. Instead, they used bomb. Of which, why didn't they bomb me? Well, I guess we're going to use the up key. Is that right? You got three of them UFO operating discs? Makes me wonder how many there are at all. I doubt there's anything else to do, so, uh, up disc. What's up, dog? Well, let's go up, I guess. Let's see. Where are we gonna go? That's in sync. Oh, what? Th th what? This. Oh! Well, I guess we can. Hmm. But I have already put so much time into de shadow fine so he can hide by hand. Or I could just get it out of the way and, you know, do it. What is a time flute doing here? Where did I get the up disc? Just, yeah, I just, it was in the, that, that box. Back at, like, the lab train station. I just went all the way to the corner, past a bunch of boxes, and I think that's what it was. I don't know why. Just, that's where the time flute is? Why is the time flute there? I, I understand, like, Mount Battle Guy having time flute. Well, I guess it's time to go check up on Silva. I suppose. Did... Hey. <laughs> the guy that had caged here, he's your friend, right, Neon? I let him escape. Good job, Bit. That Silva guy, he wanted me to tell you thanks, Neon. Okay, good. We didn't just leave Silva to rot. Well, I guess let's leave. Are we gonna have to... <laughs> Are all the people... Are all the people in the insane asylum gonna attack me? Hey, guard lady, are you gonna fight me again? The guard lady's gonna fight me again! I guess we'll head back to Agate Village. We'll go talk to Rui's grandfather. See if I can remember what voice I gave him. Then we'll go purify Suicune. And just see about doing things. But yeah, since... If I remember correctly, I was told that the Time Flutes are basically only good for purifying... Pokémon, and you want to use it on Legendary Pokémon, so... Might as well go do. You're only three levels lower, right? How are you not doing damage of super effective? That did as much power that that Fampy much better than than that Vibrava. Much better. Soy beam. Blast that face off into death. Level up for Bianca. Like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Flail. Again, does a lot of damage. Hyper mode. And I, I guess I'll call you just so, but because I can, I guess. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to purify your heart and soul with a time flute. Don't know why it was in a place of... 
then again, maybe... Maybe it was put there by the... The evil Shadow Lab team. This didn't happen! It's like the sixth time. We have... You, you have felt my wrath more than anybody else in this game. No matter what, this elevator's off limits. I have ridden it. I came up it. You are a fool. Fool of a took. Yeah, we're just going to go first chat up. I guess we can go visit Duke. It's been a bit. And he'll be like, oh, how's my pl my plusle doing? And I'll be like, I haven't used your plusle at all. Hmm, what were those two women up to on the ground floor of that beat-up building? Ground floor of that beat-up building. I don't know. Those two women. I don't know what you're even referring to. Big people, you're awesome. You're playing bad guys, aren't you? I'll help you when I get bigger. You're gonna become a terrorist too, child. Yes. Oh, I'm so glad. Let it battle lots and make it strong. Unfortunately, I have Lammy. Okay, good. Keep this up and... Oh, hi, big people. There's good news. It looks like the grown-ups will join the kids' grid too after kids. Okay, this calls for me. I'm going to upgrade the kids' grid. Kids, 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 grid. It's a song for kids' grid. I wrote it. Isn't it easy to learn? Now, if there was actually a tune to it, like a small jingle that played when she did that, that would be interesting. Yeah, I can only assume that he was talking about, like, the dilapidated, like, building that Mirror B ran away from. Hmm, those suspects we arrested haven't spilled any beans, not a thing. I reckon they're afraid of payback from their organization. Well, we're gonna save just because we can. And then we're gonna run to Agate Village, talk to Grandpa, see if he has anything to say, and then not what I wanted, but sure. And then see about purifying. Well, I guess we can see what you have to say. I think she'll just be like, oh, shadow in the darkness. I see, I see it. Deep under the ground, a swirling black cloud. I see it clearly. The black whirlpool of smoke is a new enemy. Go with caution. This one won't be easy. Well, it depends. The hardest one in this game has been the pre-gym leader. Who I'm fairly certain is the only, like, pre-gym person in this entire game. Like, it feels like we're getting near the end. But I don't know, like, how many... segments to the game there is. Wait, you're not the thing. The Pokemon Center is away. Let's see, you got anything else to say? Nothing flashing on TV. Ah, Rui and Neon. It's good to see you back. I'm sorry I haven't sent you any, any mail, even though I asked for your PDA number. That's what happens when you get old. You lose the aptitude for gadgets. I wonder if he has a high-tech Pokeball. Or like a normal Pokeball. In lore, obviously, like, the game would just go like, oh, normal Pokeball for rendering. I don't remember you. I came to this village so I could learn more about becoming closer to Pokemon. All I know is the cologne massage method for making Pokemon friendly. Do you know about the cologne massages? No. Pologne get... Pologne? Pokemon get very happy if you massage them with different kinds of scents. Actually, I have an extra cologne case with me. You can have it. Neat. Put a scent in the cologne case and give your Pokemon a massage. I'm sure it'll be delighted. Is that for opening up the darkness to a Pokemon's heart? Interesting. Also a little weird. Like, I don't know. We will use scented massage oil to open up the heart of Suicune. That's not weird or anything, but no. Hell, I don't even know if that's how it works. 
Let's see. Will it ask? Does the missing unit seem to gain off strange fantastic power? Going to go ahead and free up Suicoon, because we can. I, oh, never mind. I was like, wait a minute, what's going on? It took a moment for the f flute music to hit me. Celebi, time travel Suicoon's heart back to when it was good. Now I'm imagining like a Pokemon fanfic. That's like, I know how to open up a Pokemon's heart. They just do like a heart transplant. <laughs> Rain dance. Hmm, what name should we give you? What name should we give you? Hmm. Suicune. I know. Idea has come to me. You shall be. Just gotta look around the words. Words for the numbers. You'll be Frost. Come along, Frost. And we'll have to see. Do you really only know Rain Dance? <laughs> or did it just like super speed through? Nope, you know Gust Surf. Hmm, interesting. You know, you know a flying move. Why do you know a flying move? <laughs> Why does Suicune <laughs> know a flying move? Okie dokie. Oh wait, that's not what I wanted. I'm a fool. My brain. Hmm. We'll put Lammy up front. Try and level Lammy up. Okay, but that music in there, that music was good. I'm gonna have to, like, find and download the music for this game, because it's really good. But, now that we chased down Venus and we got the key to the main diddly D, uh, we'll go save. And then we're gonna head to that creepy lab! Well, I guess first things first, we'll go check out the construction site. It's been a bit since we've checked out the construction site. And see if there's any progress there, anything interesting, any weirdos hanging around that need to be uh, bashed over the head with a brick. So that we can advertise, like, safety, safety helmets. Well, let us go. Construction site, and then Creepy Lab! Or is, like, the future Coliseum thing going to just be, like, Battle Tower post-game? Let's see. Uh, it's a mighty long time. I can't really recall when it was I was last at home. But we're just about done here. All that's up to clean up the site and we're done. I don't feel like you've cleaned up anything here. Well, on to Shadow Pokemon Lab. Nice that they actually updated the title. I think it was just like... Foreboding Lab or something. I have Cologne Case! No, Main Gate. Open says me. Also, that is a very short gate. We could totally just jump over. Or fly over, but fly HMs don't exist in this world. Either that or, like, these people have just forgotten it for some reason. The power of HMs, where Pokemon can... Like, interact with the world and humans that no longer exists. There's a case outside. Interesting. We're gonna run around and we're gonna grab that. And there are two doors! Two doors. I'm gonna have to choose wisely which one I do. It is kind of foreboding how there's no music. Three revives! Nice. Is that, like, foreshadowing that there's going to be no healing from, like, uh, Pokemon healthcare in this, like, section? Well, I guess we'll go here. Nope, it's locked. Okay, and then we're gonna go here instead. How dare they keep their front door locked, but not their other front door locked.
Here's the shutter switch. Sure. Card key is needed. Well, that feels weird. We needed to go in there to open this so that we can leave and enter. Ah, there's a safe point, but no heals, so it feels like it's gonna be a gauntlet. Huh. Wonder if I should go stock up. You know what? I'm gonna go stock up on balls. It's been a bit since I bought Pokeballs. And uh, then maybe we'll go and stock up on Hyper Potions if that doesn't. I feel like the outskirts stand should just carry everything that you like. Every time you get to a certain checkpoint in the game, the game goes, oh, you reached this point and were able to buy this item from that store. We're going to now stock it at the outskirts. Nothing from television? Listen, pal, if you're intending to travel some more, you might want to stock up on supplies here. All right. Buy five of them. Five of them. And that's it. Then again, we have a decent amount of heals. But at the same same time, we've also been heavily, like, abusing... It appears to be junk. Yeah, because I saw that gear and I was just like, wait a minute, can I, can't I just, like, grab it? But I think we should have enough, like, we have revives, we have full, like, we have a bunch of potions. Not like super duper many, but decent many. I think we should be fine. And now we've got to save again, because we got Pokeballs. And... Well, let's see how the game wants me to go. It's just a transformer box? Wait a minute. Oh, well, no, we just need to go to the right. There's just a corner here. If you want to be a weirdo, that's where you go. That's the weirdo corner. Lots of just corners. This is discrimination. Why do they single me out for these extra assignments? They're still packing left for the move out of this lab. Eh? Who are you? You're suspicious! Therefore, you must be intruders! Researcher Myron. Voltorb and Voltorb. You're gonna fucking explode on me, aren't you? And I sent out, and I have an electric type with me. I think we're gonna go boom. They're not, like, terribly leveled up. Uh, might as well try and see. Can they be paralyzed? Some can, some can't. I don't, there's no rhyme or reason. I might as well just try, just in case. Nope, Sonic Boom. Again, the camera goes a little crazy. Because I, I didn't bother, like, anything else. Okay, so we are gonna paralyze you. Then again, it might have been interesting to see how much damage Lammy could do like, against another like, electric type. But it would be like, oh, that's not optimal. <laughs> Meanwhile, my glass cannon Espeon nuking Voltorbs here. What did I do to deserve this? Uh, you, you were gonna snitch me out to your bosses, so you have to die. Bah! I'll make you regret seeing me! Oh, what'd you drop? A card key! Oh, that's the card key! We can get into the lab! Isn't there, like, extra f stairs? <laughs> Everything is connected! So we have to enter the main building so that we can open up a locked door so we can exit- enter into the smaller building 
so we can save, go down some stairs, fight a guy, and <laughs> that's where the... Tr well, I guess it kind of makes sense, because the... The tr that's This is meant to be the train station place. It's just that their two stupid st cipher agents blew up the train station. But not even the train station part of the train station, just... The entryway? They're weird. Mew indeed. The runaround amuses me here. Card key is needed. Oh. I figured I could just go up to the door. Use the card key. <laughs> yeah, the ember the members of evil teams are just uh <laughs> But it it gave me a good laugh cuz I'm just like, "Wait a minute, they blew it up. Why did they blow it up?" That's a total of 3 explosions. 4 if you count that one self-destruct that happened. And shocked me because I th I was led to believe that That's the elevator model, but it's not an elevator. I'm confused. They're not smart, but at least they are somewhat funny. Okay, we can dump this data. Let's see now. What? Quit annoying me. You better get ready for ma or Master Ein will. Huh? Ah! You two! You're not lab staff! Reacher left call? Left call? I should have swapped out Lammy. Left call? What are you? Lesko with a lift? You drive me mad. You must die. I don't think it'll work, but let's let's see if it works. Not very effective. He is made of steel! Strange how a door that looks like an elevator is apparently a door. Cause like, I swear it's like a, a kind of shrunk elevator model. And I'm just like, why isn't that just a door? Why is it elevator? What are you? Oh, Chin Chow, it's been a while since I've seen you. I think they were just like, how do we differentiate, like, the lab compared to other places? Somebody just went, elevator. <laughs> it does not, it's the curved, like, door thing. But I don't think that there's, like, an easy... Because hmm. I kind of get the vibe that they were going for, for that. But it's just like, it's too, it, it is literally just the elevator model, so it just feels so weird. Psych up? What is psych up? Is it bulk up but for psychics? Oh, copy the target's effects to the user. I don't care. We will. I do not bother with that. Stop learning psych up, yes. Interesting, but not for me. Quit e killing my dog! And we'll just use that in case a quick clock goes off. Goodbye, Chin Chow. I will probably not see you for another two years. What's this? I don't have time for this! You don't have time for dealing with intruders? You two! If you don't vacate the premises, Master Ein will do terrible things to you! And then he just stands there. At least the other guy ran away. I like every trainer in this game has a bad name, aside from a small amount of good ones. Like, I don't even think they're bad, they're just so unbelievably weird. They're just all so strange. The doubt. <laughs> I... I know that's meant to be like the downstair key, but it's like the down street key. But okie doke. But yeah, again, it's just so weird. Like, maybe if it was just like one way, but the, the fact that it's two. Two. 
And then the, this one. T okay, so we need to go. Oh, the down Saint Key. Okay, so that's the. Okay, so that place, we go downstairs going literally down, and then that's the elevator back up. Gotcha, game. Never mind. I guess we're gonna go down through an L. This is the. Is this the second time that I've been accosted from above? Oh, hey! Intruder alert! Peon Cole, congratulations! You have a normal name! I forgot to swap out my Pokemon. Okay, in this game, those those just look like tits. <laughs> Cast form. <laughs> just completely. <laughs> looks wrong. Okay, we're gonna smack the eight bomb, I guess. Don't really care for A-Palm, so if it faints, it faints. I already lost my Sneasel! But oh well. The cast form has jiggle physics. Oh hey, I can nuke you. In fact, you're going to get nuked! The cast form decided, oh boy, a psycho- <laughs> My brain forgot the typing type. Electric type. Cast form saw an electric type and decided, kill me. Hey, Rimmery. How does an A-Palm swipe at you with no claws? Ah, oh, that's right. It swipes at you with the big fleshy fingers on its tail. And uh, the psychic damage makes it a fury swipe. It's still a physical attack, though. That's the trick. But more, re more realistically, it's just that they didn't put claws on the design, but... <laughs> it inflicts mental pain. Indeed. Although now imagining the fleshy hand fingers growing giant claws for Fury Swipes is kind of horrifying. Well, for posterity's sake, we're gonna, I guess, throw an Ultra Ball at you, I suppose. If you don't get in, you die! Those are the rules for Shadow Pokemon that I don't care. I'm surprised this guy's a normal name. Yeah, it's just like, compared to everybody else, everybody else has just weird names. It's like, it's like they just had a weird, like, name generator in the office. And they're like, go. Hi indeed, YouTube chat. We're just suffering. Just weird names and door design at the creepy shadow lab. Rain continues to fall. Indoors. Guess we'll use Swift, because we can. Listen, Apom, it's either get in the ball or die. Your choice, Apom! <laughs> Wes from Wesley. Wesley does not fit the main character of this game. Like, I don't know why, but it just doesn't. Are you gonna use Shadow Rush on me? <laughs> Try and kill me? This is like the only Shadow Pokemon It's like, I'm just gonna use normal, like, moves. Can't be that shadowed of a Pokemon. It's not using Shadow Rush. Then again, huh, that makes me wonder. Cause like, Most, like, Shadow Pokemon in this game seem to go using normal moves somewhat with a proclivity for Shadow Rush until I get here. 
What? Oh yeah, my, my brain's on fire. <laughs> nice, because the ferret can uh, definitely summon a small tsunami indoors. Indeed. What name would even fit the main character? I have no idea. In a way, Wes has a kind of, I don't know, odd, weird, hip name to it. Hey, it's a vibe. But the moment you call him Wesley, just it, it crumbles apart. Good job, Bianca. You have now leveled up. Why am I the loser? Because you have a normal name. And that makes you a weirdo in this country. And he just disappeared. He's a ghost. Wes just hallucinated that. Cole, did, Cole was such a normal name. Cole was such a normal name. He's dead. <laughs> Bye, Apom. You didn't hear the, the warning. I guess we can actually swap in the two legendaries just because we can. We're going to take no room for it. I think some of them are like ninjas. They just jump back up to the ceiling. I like to imagine him just being like a hallucination of Wes. Well, I guess I'm going to go put a bunch of stuff into the computer because I'm out of room. Like, what even... I don't even understand truly, like, an item limit in Pokemon. In Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, sure. This game could just be Wes having a dream. That's why he's the cool, hip, criminal mastermind. But he betrayed the criminals. But he can still steal Pokemon. But he doesn't use explosions after the first time. Let's see. Well, I guess we'll put these away since. Not really gonna use them. Restores the PP of all moves. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm just not gonna be using Macho Brace all that much either. I am not a hip to win kind of guy. But since I'm here, we can uh, take the spell tag or give it back to Bianca. And then we'll give the XP share to Lammy, so he can level up some. And then the Quick Claw, I guess, can go to Father. And because... Ah, we're already out here. I'll go run heal someplace. Wait. Just had a thought. No, that guy was a random event, so he's not gonna respawn. <laughs> it's just that I'm wondering because that that insane asylum criminal hideout that Mirror B made basically a maze to get through to get to him. All those people just instantly respawn and are ready to battle again at the drop of a hat. So, I don't know if, like, running back here for free health care is gonna be good. But we've only fought, like, one guy who's stationary and one ninja hallucination. So I think I'm safe to do that. I just, I doubt that they're going to, like, instant respawn. To be fair, they do have healing machines uh, nearby in Mirror B's hair hideout. That is true. It's the lore. It's lore accurate. Whenever you leave, they just all, like, form a line at the healing machines. So that when you come back, they're just ready. If Cole jumps down again, I will laugh. 
Oh wait, the, oh, I want I wanted to like look inside the lockers because they have chunky Pikachu. Now let's go deep into the nightmare. I highly doubt they would form a line. No, they're all friends with each other. They just hate me. I exude madness. DNA sample? And are, are we going to be making a Shadow Mewtwo? Of course not. That's not until the Wii U when they made Tekken into Pokemon. A DNA sample of some sort. How? Hey now, you're not supposed to be in with the lab without your lab coat? Wait a minute, your faces aren't familiar. Intruders? Oddlo. Oddlo. For a moment my brain went, hey, what if, uh, what if the names are like swapped around normal names, but no, Wadlo is never at all. Black kill that motherfucker. Why? Immediate. Immediately. Immediately. Just a <laughs> Why? Explosion count. Let's see, there was two at that, there was the other one, so this is the fifth explosion. Because there's like the three story ones and then two through gameplay. All after I was told. I was told that it doesn't exist. I didn't even need to do it to that one. How many electrodes have you seen? Three? At least two. Because I could have sworn we ran into another one that didn't explode. And that made me go, oh, well, that makes it, that proves that there's no self-destruct in this game. And then the next one came. Go, father, eat the metal orbs. There's three of them. <laughs> Miracle V, yeah. Oh, yeah, his pseudo wudo exploded, yeah. That's what made it doubly unexpected. You want to know? You you want to know why? Why Miracle Peace should have would have exploded? It's because he bombed. <laughs> also, I just realized how weird, like, the flowing on uh, Inte's mane is. It's more like it's, it, like, a constantly eating snake. This reeks! <laughs> Entei is a weird lion. He is a weird cat dog, indeed. You're far too late. There's nothing left here. <laughs> I literally have DNA. So you're Neon, aren't you? The word is you've been wreaking havoc with our plans. He was just standing up top the stairs. Corin? This is fi Fire Emblem Fates. Ah, son of a bitch. I should heal. I should heal. They are going to explode and squeal. I should heal, I should heal, I should heal, I should heal. All three of the legendary beasts are a form of wildcat. I do believe so, because I remember hearing somewhere that, like, after many, many years, the original designer, I think, might have talked about it or something like that. Just, like, the original inspirations, or, like, something along those lines for the legendary beasts. We're finally told! You're gonna explode, aren't you? No, you used thunder, because you're a bitch. And you missed. <laughs> they both missed! How? Let me guess. Now you're going to... Now you're gonna do it. 
Now you're gonna do it. Now you're gonna do it. Okay, good. You didn't. I was waiting. Inte Lion, Suikun, Leopold, Raikou, Sabertooth, Tiger. It's been a bit since I heard the random fun fact, but that seems right. Again, the Magnum Mike just flying away is hilarious to me. Don't you lightning bolt my Suicune again. Don't you talk to me or my Suicune ever again. Damn it. Then again, I probably shouldn't be using Suicune in here. All of them are lightning. All of them are electricity. They're all nerds. I should have sent out um, I should have sent out another one, but I'm but a fool. <laughs> Seeing the electrode's eyes just pop out when it goes down makes me laugh. It is a silly cartoony little thing, ain't it? Blast away at the magnemite. And it died! How dare you make faint, my Suicoon? No havoc, please! There's gonna be lots of havoc. You're just lucky that I used my prerequisite to explosives <laughs> in the opening cutscene. <laughs> the shadow Pokemon that were made here have been transported out already. Battle all you want. There's no stopping our shadow Pokemon plan now. What is it even your plan? What is even the plan? I did not like how the levels of Pokemon Venus had were very high. I forget if I had issues with her. It was only two days ago. But I don't think it was that bad for me. And because this is just Nightmare World, we're going to swap around. This is just Nightmare, Nightmare, Nightmare. Because we can, we're gonna go ahead and run and uh, heal someplace. Probably go to Fennec, since their Pokemon Center's pretty diddly. 44 was a bit too high for my team to handle. Huh. I have, like, done no grinding, so I don't know why I haven't, like... I forget, I think there was one fight where I was, like, losing a few Pokemon. But it hasn't been terrible? The only person that's really given me, like, psychic damage from how hard they beat me was the pre-gym guy of Finnac. And that's because he's a, a dirty little avoidy boy. Dirty little man who went, I'm going to raise my evasion. And then I, like, I immediately got swift after that. <laughs> like, immediately. <laughs> he beats my team using evasion. Immediately learns swift afterwards. Yeah, Justy. You'd think that I would remember a name like Justy, but I just... I just don't. Have I ever gone down here? I don't think I've ever gone down here. Oh, this is just like, oh, you can battle other people thing? Maybe? I don't know. This is good. One of the most infuriating fights. I am I'm happy that I, I'm not alone in that. I am happy that I'm not alone in being annoyed that Justy uses strategy. Because, <laughs> like, I'm willing to admit, Justy, he actually used strategy. It is a legitimate thing, just a bunch of Pokemon that use evasion. But, uh, <laughs> it is painful. I should probably go save. Whittle my way down. <laughs> I was like, that's partly the reason why I hated, like, the battle tower place in Emerald, the battle frontier. Oh, the battle frontier pissed me off. I, I ran into two situations where the main strategy of a team was purely to just waste my time until I die. 
And that was it, and I hated it. I got, like, at least one badge, I think, thing, ribbon, I don't care, in the Battle Frontier. Never again. Like, I might give other, like, Battle Frontier things in future games a shot, but Emerald, no, never again. Oh, another ninja! Hello! Uh-uh, you're not supposed to be in here. Lar. Why do you name Lar? Yo, weirdo. Hmm, so you're a dark type person. With fire and water. This is not good for me. I guess I'll swap in Lammy. And I guess I'll just secret power the hand hour. Again, the this guitar track reminds me of Tales of Symphonia. Oh, that did a decent amount of damage. I like never use that move. That that's a weird wind up animation, Hound Hour. Oh no, not to be fair, it has a scary face. <laughs> that one fits. <laughs> <laughs> Secret power away the hound hour. Goodbye. Now blast that fish. Blows up fish with lightning. Nuzzly. How dare you go first? Don't you make my my lamb flinch, you bitch. I knew it! I knew that they would do this to me! All those years of the Academy! I don't even think I... Let's just secret power the Nuzleaf. <laughs> hey, Quick Claw, you'd like to activate, please? Don't you dare make it flinch again. Don't you fucking dare. Don't you dare! Motherfucker! Twice. Twice in a row. Twice in a row. We need to get rid of this fucking carnival. Really? You bitch! You dare? Seriously? Oh, lightning, please go through. That would be hilarious. Oh, never mind! It's... The game played me! I'm gonna... The Murkrow's gonna fucking die! <laughs> that card of a... It... <laughs> so the game... The game... Oh, it tricked me hard! It kept flinching my, my electric dinosaur lamb. Because I was trying to lightning the water type. So I'm just like, eh, Scoot, I'm just gonna kill it. Immediately, Shadow Pokemon flying type dead. At least I didn't, like, seriously want that. But that's just... That's so dumb. You are a mean game. You are a mean game. Like, I think maybe once before I got lucky and got two flinches in a row. But the fact that it happened here, how dare, how dare you? The moment that frickin' piranha fainted, I knew it. At first I was like, haha, thunder, go through for funny. Then it was a shadow Pokemon that was weak to electricity. You might be young, but you know what you're doing. Do I? I don't even know what my plan is. I'm still hooked on that. They juked me in a Pokemon battle. Oh, hey. Why do I not trust that? 
I've been hired to tend to the Pokemon, so that's what I've been doing this whole time. Were you folks wanting a Pokemon too? Sure. Is that so? It's a shame, but they're all gone. They've all been taken away somewhere, every last one. Only, only not- Oh hey, another DNA sample. Again, this feels like we're building up to some Chimera monster. Another elevator. It's off limits beyond here. Vanna. And what do you got? Poopata and Swablu. Don't you beep at me. I guess that's you yeah, I don't even know. Let's kill the swabler! Kill the swabler! Damn it, it has a lot of health. Or well, maybe father is just as bad at biting. Maybe that mask thing that he wears gets in the way. That like raises your defense, don't it? Never mind, it's covered by a veil, whatever that means. Father's gonna fucking die, isn't he? Well, Fire Blast. Fire Blast! Unless the safeguard kicks in. Ah, uh, not very effective. It looks flammable. I could've used that critical hit yesterday. Yet another one of those. This Pokemon has one HP. You got a critical hit. Uh, Fire Blast should do good against you, right? Because, never mind, you're... But I don't really care for Fortress. Never have, really. You motherfucker. Mm. I don't really care for Fortress. It's kind of cool, but kind of weird. If you survive, I guess, like, I'll, I'll try? Maybe? Watch it be, like, not very effective. Never mind, it just dies. You see, there's a hidden stat. Shadow Pokemon have like a 50% chance to get critical hitted more than others. I've made that up, but it feels like it. Let's see, Stomp. It's normal, 65 power. Stomp's target with a big foot may cause flinching. So basically, it's a normal bite. I don't- I, I haven't been using Leer all that much in this game. I just haven't. And... It would be nice to have more than two fight options. One of which is the signature super move, which is very draining. I should be using the Sunny Dance more, but... Brain is just like, why use two moves for one battle damage when two damage? Yeah, we're gonna get rid of, rid of Leer. It may not be a good tactical decision, but in this game, I don't do tactics. Oh yeah, Father's gonna fucking die. Cause dig. Dig, you dig. Aha, you lived. How does Father even eat with that weird, like, I don't even know. It's like mustache X that's like been welded to his face. I guess blast the Zubat. Don't you don't you dare go underground again. Don't you dare. Also that Zubat should be like the other one. I forget. The big mouthed bat. Brain just went to place there? <laughs> My because I, I I forget what it's called. The Zubat evolution that has a big jaw, big gaping jaw. And my brain immediately went after I said uh, the big mouthed bat. Brain went because it gives good suck. And I don't know why. Brain just it does things? 
against my will here? You use dig, but you are a fool. We just had to see, we just had to, we just had to show the entire arena. We had to show the entire arena there. Why is this Poopatar so tanky? Cuz Cuz it's meant to be like based off of I don't even know. Pupa? Like I I don't even really know what that is anymore. It's just a thing that lives in my mind. It's like I heard that word before. I think it's a related maybe to bugs. My memory my, my knowledge is a fractured droning of hell. Yeah, think you're tough. What does that even mean? What does that even mean, lady? Are you saying that I think I'm tough? Or are you saying that you think I'm tough? Do you need a doctor? You are holding your head there like a weirdo. Okay, so... Uh, we can't get in there. I think it looks like there's another elevator. Okie dokie, we go underground. Let's see where we go. Of course, they're all ninjas. Welcome to the Shadow Pokemon Lab. Batman? Lizar? Lesser? What are your names? <laughs> hmm. Ah, which one is it? The Rhydon? No, it's the bug. Damn it. The Rhyhorn is like. All right, we're gonna swap out Father. We're gonna put in Frost, so that we can try and kill the fucking Rhinehorn. Uh, blast the Eridos with uh, secret power. If it dies, it dies. If it gets low, we'll try and catch it. You know the normal. Damn it, you take so little damage. I was gonna fire blast it. You bitch. You double bitch. You triple bitch. Why? How dare you? You motherfucker. I prop. Nah, it doesn't really matter at this point. I guess let's see how much this does. Not much. You dumb bug. Aha, but you flinched. Because you're a bitch. Hurt my poison. How dare you. Guess you surf. I guess confuse Ray the Ariados? I guess. I don't got much I got in my head. And I don't know how much this surf is gonna do his damage. Let's see. Bye bye, Reinhorn. We are going to try. And capture the Erdos. And if it does not, oh well. Oh, hey, Grovile! You're here to fucking annihilate my Suicune. You bastard. It's like the game knew. 
<laughs> the game knew is like, okay, by this point they have Entei and they have Suicune, so if we throw Grovile behind a Rhyhorn, something's gonna happen. I forgot. <laughs> Suicune has a flying move for some reason. Why? I don't understand. I don't understand. Why does a water dog know Gust? <laughs> it amuses me. Hello, hello, YouTube chat. I'm losing my mind over these ninjas just g ganging up on me and being mean. Aw, oh, damn it, my... Okay, never mind. That Grovile's weak as fuck. Go back to stealing time gears. Water dog cat thing. Use a wind move. Why does it know a wind move? Nobody knows. Ah, Grovile's a speedy boy. Concerned I'm gonna wanna head back and heal anyway. <laughs> because I'm a weirdo like that. I don't like, oh, I have revives, I have heals, nah. I go to the free healthcare zone. <laughs> a bouncy little man you are. Die. By the power of Fire Blast. It is a poor day to be a Grovile. Catastrophically strong! As for why Suicune knows Gust, the move Gust comes from its very flighty nature in the Crystal Pokemon game, as well as the movie attached to Suicune. Okay, that makes sense. To be fair, though, all the legendary dogs, well, legendary beasts, they're both cat and dog. It just for five billion years drilled into my brain. Legendary dogs, legendary dogs. But yeah, all of them in the second generation were very flighty. <laughs> you had to construct entire compositions to keep them locked in battle. Lest they just go, I run. But it does fit, like, Suicune a bit more because of Crystal, yeah. And now we're gonna head back to Finex so that we can just heal up there. I understand that they're like, we're not gonna put any healing stations in this dungeon for difficulty. And then I'm just like, I, I shall uh, not use my items. I don't use items. I am an itemless gamer. Because if they are usable, they are therefore limited, and I am scared. Well, that's what uh, what they were labeled as Pokemon Gold and Silver. Yep. Where were they? I forget. It's been so long, and like, sometimes brain confuses like, long-running fandom terms versus like, official designations that the fandom use. Like, if I remember correctly, starter Pokemon isn't even really a term used for a lot of Pokemon games. It was, like, later games that, like, once fans of Pokemon started working officially on Pokemon, I think, is around the time that starter Pokemon was an actual term used. For the most part, which I think caused, like, a bit of a... At least from what I heard, like, some people are like, oh, they're changing the official vernacular of, like, uh, your first Pokemon companion, which, like, I personally like. Sure, it's a mouthful, but I like it. Like, a part of me kind of goes, like, it would be neat if, like, the starter Pokemon, first Pokemon companion, it's compulsive. <laughs> it's been drilled into my head. Ah, oh, yeah, your starter. Well, like, it'd be interesting if, like, the... Your first companion, your first partner... Like, played, like, I don't know, like, a role in the story or something. 
Now we need to play the game of which way is the optional path? Uh, they were actually named legendary dogs there. You have to, uh, no healing centers in your dungeon to take me out. Hold my beer. I'm gonna go right back to kick your butt. Indeed. That makes it all the more amusing that they were officially called legendary dogs. But I wonder if they were called like legendary dogs in the trans, like only in the translation. Because if I recall, goddamn ninja, <laughs> sweeties, you've caused enough mischief already. But yeah, because like the if Tanny, the names are so weird in this game. But yeah, like I wonder if the legendary dogs is, was the official, like actual thing originally said in Japan, or if it was just a translation thing, because. At the very least, recently-ish, like the past two years, I think, it's like been officially confirmed that the inspiration for the legendary dogs were giant cats, which is amusing to me. Now, hey, Grand Bull, uh, get blasted. If you survive, good for you. We'll try to capture you, but I've never cared. How dare you, game? How dare you? I was using my diddly d. Oh gosh, Tani's voice is almost like the people uh, sip over goth dominatrix women. I will take that as a compliment. I just... Well, that's funny. Grand Bull and Father took turns missing each other. Congratulations. Fire Blast! But yeah. I just do random voices that I think fit. Just off the top of my head. And then I, like, forget voices and have to rediscover them. It's a whole thing. Sometimes they come easier to me. Oh, great. The Grand Bull's just going to die to buyer. Die to buyer? What, a rich guy comes in and is like, I want to buy your finest, <laughs> finest execution. I believe they were beasts in Japanese titles. Interesting. I wonder if that had a an effect on the perception of like, the legendary beasts. Like, because they were called, like, ah, dogs, 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 like, all the fans. So I wonder if, like, the translation just, like, affected that. How, how, how vicious the discourse would be of people going, are the legendary beasts based on dogs or cats? And then they're like, well, they're called dogs. How much it would have changed. Thank you, Granbull. You decided to choose life. Okay, Vigoroth. You have a clown nose in this game. Congratulations. You identified the Pokemon right in front of you. What does that even do? <laughs> what is Odor Sleuth? I have never understood it. I have never used it. I really should use Sunny Day, but... Fire Blast. Oh, hey, Lanoon, you're using Headbutt like my Lanoon did when I played Emerald. You smart little, you smart little thing. I also love your voices. Thank you very much. I am, it's like, this is why I want to play more games like this. Why I enjoy, because like, I genuinely believe when I play through like Ace Attorney on the stream, that it, like, amps up the gameplay for me. Where uh, it's one of those games where if I played Ace Attorney on my own, I would not have as much fun compared to streaming it because I can do voices. It's been so long, I probably forgot all of them because... Let's see. This one, I believe, is the voice I do for the judge. And then, I think this is the voice that I do for Edgeworth. You are a fool, right? We have an autopsy report. Ha! Huh. And then, uh, let's see, I think this is the kind of voice I use for, for Phoenix. Your mischief is going overboard! Like, like, choosing voices and then forgetting voices and then doing voices again, it's just a whole thing. Odorsloth is making it obvious what moves should be used, which is useless for the opponent. That is hilarious. British Edgeworth is always fun. 
And then, oh my gosh. I don't even know what the oh my gosh is for. I don't even know <laughs> which freaking elevator to use. I wonder how you'll handle Apollo. I don't know. Because he's like younger, kind of like, I don't know. It seems to me the ash to Phoenix's red, as it were. So I think it would be something maybe a bit lower, but still kind of childlike. Oh man, this isn't gonna go well. Something like that, I guess. Uh, would you like me to tell you which elevator you should use? Primarily, I'm just, my brain is going, I want to uh, do optional pathing. So I'm just worried about that. Uh, I'm getting wrapped up on myself. And I'll use a hyper. But uh, I'll I'll do it on my own. I'll suffer the consequences. Because, like, I just hope that they're not going to be mean. Hmm. Let's see. I will eeny, meeny, miny, mow it. Eeny, meeny, miny, mow. Left. Let us see what horror awaits us. This is just the... Are you here to mock me? What? What are outsiders doing here? Why isn't security doing their job? Well, you don't usually get uh, launched immediately into story-related fights in this game. Oh, that's good. Usually, I just like ah fuck. I'm gonna I'm gonna get launched out of here when that explodes. I've been forgetting my tea. When you get ambushed by a scientist, remember to stay hydrated through the power of tea. Brain dead. You fucker. I forget. Does that lower the power? How are you missing so much, father? Of the year! Oh, double, how dare you. Why do so many electric types have you touch me? Bad. I find that to be slightly annoying. I think it should be like a, a gimmick to a few Pokemon, but it feels like every single electric type in this game has that. <laughs> what is security doing, sir? I murdered your security. Kind of, sorta. They mostly like uh, backflipped away, really. Of course you survived, you bastard. Well, I guess bastards. There's three of you. And you got a critical hit. What is with you? Raynaud's makes father's accuracy and power go down in this game. Why does an electrode know... No... That, that is a question. They are both... I don't even know. It hurts my brain. I don't even know who to send in. I'm gonna send in the ghost. Why would the electric type be like, I'm gonna use water! You are a mean bastard. Rain continues to fall. Alright, we're gonna side beam you, and the, oh, then we're gonna munch on your metal balls. Damn it, it didn't die. You are vep. Two criticals from the Metal Girls! I think in a row! I am being bamboozled by God himself. As for why electric types have essentially electric veil, they want electric versus electric or electric versus ground. But still, which is just extra amusing because, like, these electric types can still, like, get paralyzed. It's just so baffling to me. Hey, Lammy, kill him. Hmm. Hey, let's just lightning. Sure, 
surely one of the Thunderbolts will make it paralyzed. They're trying to encourage special attacks versus physical attacks of electric types. True, but it still feels just a bit wonky, in my opinion. Because it, it's kind of interesting because, like, electric types are the ones that mostly get it. I think there are a few Pokemon that have the, oh, you used a physical attack on a, this one, now yeah, you got burned. But, like, I don't know. I kind of prefer burn over paralysis because at least I get to attack. <laughs> at least I get to attack it. It's definitely jank. Uh, the Rain Dance, uh, up until later games, had a hidden effect of boosting Thunder's accuracy. Interesting. Kind of weird that it's hidden, but it, very interesting. Which kind of get it like Rainstorm, Thunder, and Lightning. Also very, very frightening me. I, I still don't quite understand why the game goes, We have to do a big old turnaround. Showing you the battlefield when it's just a room with repeating Like I guess it boosts thunder's accuracy, but why would you do that? The fire types are dead And a level up for Lammy Coton. Ah, crud. There's no way I'm going to let you go. What are you going to do? I beat you. Haha, <laughs> now you're stuck. There's no escaping the lab for you. Apparently there is, though. I don't know. That feels like the main way to go. I don't know. But now it's affecting everywhere. Now I'm scared. And it got rid of, like, uh, well, everything. Now I have to use two of my revives. Where did I put my revives? They were right above the hyper potions. I'm an idiot. I probably should have bought more hyper potions. Well, since we went that way, let's go this way, because there's one elevator that goes just into a room. Now, this is going to be slightly bothersome, I think. It's a DNA analyzer. Analyze this DNA. The DNA sample was that of Pseudo Widow. Interesting. Because Thunder was mega busted. Oh, wait. Ooh, Quilava! Interesting. It was mega busted in earlier games and would potentially bypass, uh,. Father's ground typing. Rain Dance also makes someone like Entei super weak. How dare they use strategy. So I'm going to... I don't even know. I wonder what the DNA samples are even for. That'll be interesting to see. Hmm. What in the name of... How did you two avoid the eyes of our security staff? Didn't I already beat you up there? Dubik? Dubik? I just need to swap out Entei. He's not going to be good here. Oh yeah, and he has like no <laughs> fire blast anymore. And he's still paralyzed. Well, let's just try to get rid of one so they don't both explode. At the very least, these guys don't, like, auto-explode all the time. Oh no, not the double screech. Father's gonna fucking die.
father's gonna fucking die. Not Spark. And is paralyzed, how dare you. They're both sparking. It's a Dragon Ball game. The DNA samples are very useful for later on, according to what I've read. They can be one... I hate the YouTube chat because it has like a little emote thing that covers up chat sometimes. It's annoying. Yeah. One nine Pokemon per sample. Interesting. One of nine different Pokemon. Oh, that's interesting. So they're randomly gen or, or like uh, randomly decided. One of nine different Pokemon per sample. Very interesting. That is quite neat. We have no idea why YouTube decided, like, hey, let's put a thing in the way of, like, where you're going to be reading chat. Why not put it at top, YouTube? That's kind of what Twitch does. They put, they move the clutter away from where you're automatically going to be reading. And I missed the explode because we're ranting about UI design on YouTube's side. I think I'm just... Oh, hey, learned mean look, but I don't care because I'm fairly certain that's just the now you can't leave, but the AI doesn't leave. Fixes a target that prevents escape. That is meaningless to me. <laughs> the DNA samples are selected upon game selection. Uh, should I move to which? Now you can stay there. It's just a very rare, weird thing on <laughs> the UI design for YouTube. We're like, a part of a word or a single word can be missed because that stupid little heart and I can't get rid of it. I don't know how. You didn't duck from security. You walked all over them. Hey, this guy gets it. Do whatever you want. It's too late now. We're finished with our research. What you're doing is futile. Oh, hey, thing. DNA. Interesting. And nothing else here, so it was just for the DNA. And yeah, we're gonna swap you out. I'm just gonna put my main my main two back in. The scientists are like more evil than the actual security. Interesting, you'd think that would be a thing. Is this is there just nothing here? Or did I like Missed something because the alarm went off before I came here. Could just be an empty room. This game does like empty rooms. I don't know why. My brain said, hey, check this. Hmm. But I don't feel too scared. Yes, sir, I recommend uh, figuring out what the DNA sample is. It'll be important later. Okay, we'll definitely go check that. And then... I guess we'll head deeper in to where Alarm Man pressed the alarm. It's a DNA analyzer. I'm gonna assume this is the bottom one, the latest one. We already have Suicune, <laughs> but okay! I wonder if that the DNA samples are all, like, missable shadow Pokemon. And then you can, like, clone them. Which would be kind of funny. And if you get all nine DNA samples, you make Shadow Mewtwo. I should probably get rid of the paralysis. That's all my poor boy. Let's see. Do I have, uh, full heals? We have lots of full heals. And I guess we have the vice. We have also lots of money, just in case. I don't think he'll faint. If he does, revive. Another ninja! Hi! I heard the alarm, so I came running. You came jumping! It's what you did, Ramil. What are these names? Vibrava and Katabra. 
Oh no, they captured a little boy and turned him into a cadabra over his overwhelming psychic power. I cannot confirm or deny without spoilers. I don't think I care. I don't think I care at all about getting a Shadow Vibrava. If you survive, I will try. Okay, I guess I'll, I'll swift next turn and keep trying, I suppose. Bite that Kadabra's head off. How dare you, Shadow Rush, you little bug. How dare you do damage to my dog. I guess... We will throw ball and hope it gets in and stays in and gets out of my way now. Hopefully, 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 hope. Just get in there. Pretty please. One, two, three. Good. It shows life. <laughs> like, it felt me. It's like it knew on some level that if it broke out, I would have just nuked it from orbit. So it's like, I'm not going to risk it. And again, like, every single time I consciously think about this song that's playing, my brain goes, Tales of Symphonia. It's like they, they're they using the same, like, MIDI guitar. Kecleon, or Kes... Kesleon? For some reason... My brain, like, mixed things up. Like, Kek... Like, Kekleon, haha. Uh -huh. But, uh, Kesleon. I don't even know. I think I just Mandela-affected me, myself, like a fool. And, uh, we'll actually use Espeon to fight. Uh, I'm gonna blast you, because you, 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 you scare me. Go ahead. My glass cannon's gonna shard all over you. I didn't mean it that way, but it came out that way because brain is evil. Oh, hey. <laughs> did, did it just say that it failed psych up? Or no? Or what? I don't even know. I do find it amusing that, like, all of the HM moves seem to be present. Just randomly as moves. It just amuses me. Oh, hey, critical hit that barely did anything. And then it flew. Woo. I do find it amusing they're focusing on Espeon. <laughs> You're about to get hit with fly. I could never tell. That's why it's amusing when I like... Oh, actually, I know. Well, we're this deep in. We will fight with you. Hyper Potion on Umbreon's turn. And that way, if it tries to fly again, I can... Well, we can just kill it next turn. Well, yeah, next turn-ish. I'll just use Reflect, and then Secret Power if you decide to come down on his turn. At least it's not as bad as that evil little boy who had two flying Pokemon and was alternating flying them. And it took me a bit to actually be like, oh, I need to alternate my attacks too, because I'm kind of an idiot sometimes. I keep forgetting my teeth. <laughs> I didn't mean to upset. Oh no, I did find it amusing. It's like, oh, I, I knew. <laughs> Are you able to do an evil laugh? Evil villain laugh? Uh, it depends, because, like, 
<laughs> but then, of course, there's... Well, let's do this. You're too strong, little boy, she says as she sobs into her hands as she has a mental breakdown. But then, of course, there's the Joker voice. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done that one. Oh, hey, it's a Cypher Man. The door is locked. Release the lock? Yes. Oh! That's what this is. I wonder if the order matters, because I got it in... Quilava you you. Love those laughs. Thank you very much. Let's see. Do I need to worry about my Pokemon? I wish I had lower level heals. That is what I wish I had. We also have rare candies. I should probably use them. <laughs> like, I keep... I always get rare candies in these games, and then I just never use them. I need to use them. What I could do is just beef up my aces more. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna beef up my aces more. And then maybe give the extra to someone else, like Frost. We'll give the extra to Flo <laughs> Flost. Is that the weird dentist parody of Lost? Flost? Oh, hey, Aurora Beam! I'm not sure how good it is, but let's see! Ice Beam? I think ice and, like... <laughs> doesn't it take, like, five billion years for ice to actually be somewhat decent as a typing? Fire is a rainbow-colored beam that may lower attack. We're gonna get rid of Leer. And I guess it's it. We're gonna come fight you. No, hey, it's Scrub again! Not once, not twice, but three times we meet! Do you really recall who I... Do you recall who I am? I shall avenge my humiliation at the Relic Forest! When did you get Suicune? More importantly, uh, how did you unlock their heart? And Frost is frozen ice uh, train parody for dentistry. But yeah, like, uh, I got Suicune after, uh, uh, during the fight with Venus. Because we went to the underground, and I ran around there, I beat Venus, and then I think I stopped after Venus ran away, and then we began this stream chasing Venus. And uh, I got the... <laughs> right after the evil team group exploded their own train station. I went down away, found the up disc for the UFO, went up, got time flute, went down, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna... <laughs> After seeing how long it would take to free up Suicune's heart the normal way, I just, like, screw it, I use time flute. Ice is one of the most viable counters to Psychic-type Pokemon. Interesting. Will Psybeam be good against Graveler? I don't think it will. Hmm. I think we need to focus up and uh, annihilate the Wobbuffet. I never saw the third stream. Oh, da 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 da. Because it all goes up eventually. What type means Wobbuffet? <laughs> I've never asked that before. Wait, it should go up on the, like, yeah, the YouTube channel. Ah, uh, crap, Magnitude. But, yeah, it'll go up on the stream channel eventually. Maybe I need to speed up how I upload the diddly dees. Just cause. Uh, we'll throw Frost out cause Espeon's about to... You motherfucker. My brain is telling me that I need to... That was the weakest sneeze in the universe. Uh, psychic Water for Wobbuffet. I never knew that. My brain always thought that it was normal. But, yeah, it was streamed on YouTube two days ago, I think? Time is an illusion. Hmm. Oh, yeah. 
I really need to make an actual schedule, but keeping a schedule is difficult. That's the problem where every... Because the main problem is every single time that I make a schedule, just brain immediately tanks and is just like, oh, I don't want to stream. The anxiety goes through roof. I'm going to punish you for trying to be consistent. And it's just evil. Bless you, and hope you have a beautiful holiday. Thank you very much. I hope you also have a good new year. You as well. Thank you for taking the time to enjoy these fun old times playing Pokemon Coliseum. Because it's really a fun game. Very interesting the way... Like, because again, it almost like... I almost forget the fact that they just don't have random encounters in this game. Like, there isn't random Pokemon battles here. Creates a wall of light that lowers special attack damage. Let's see. Uh, also, also, what was anxiety just Squidward? SpongeBob, you are making my anxiety blast through the roof. Uh, but Squidward... I'm the happiest person in the universe. That shouldn't make you at all anxiety induced. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get rid of Thundershot. That's strategy, but I just use Thunderbolt anyway. Let's try and put a bit in there. <laughs> Krakatoa! I've never watched. <laughs> I have never watched SpongeBob. <laughs> so I have no idea about anything. <laughs> No, Patrick. Mayonnaise is not an instrument. Keeps using magnitude. Well, at least it hurt its friend. Crap, now I have to heal the both of them. Or swap them out. And we shall heal because it could just use magnitude at any time. <laughs> I'm, I have a wonderful time. Hopefully that's okay. Of course it's okay. Wonderful times are always a good time. Not the high jump kick. That actually did have a jumping animation. Good for you. Are you gonna magnitude again? No, it's rock slide. I'm trying to bury my dog. I guess I'll use your turn to heal. I mean, I could swap them out. We are getting desperately low. Hmm. That's a problem with you. We shall return you and swap out for you to hopefully obliterate the, the freaking rock man. Looking for, <laughs> for Seto Kaibo when Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses gets streamed. I might have to do that, because I think that's one of the games that's kind of interested me. I just have so many games. So many games that I want to play. Like, the rest of the Assassin's Creed series, even though Assassin's Creed 3 kind of skip makes me scared of the rest of the series. <laughs> like, I know that people enjoy, like, blah, 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 like Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. But I mostly only hear about like, oh yeah, Black Flag, it has the, uh, the diddly diddly d, uh, ba ba ba, the naval stuff, which yeah, it was pretty decent even in Assassin's Creed 3, but then like the only thing of assassinating gameplay is, I really just like the sheer amount of like, uh, tailing missions there are in this game, so it's just like, oh no. Am I... And d depending on what they do with combat, because I did not vibe with Assassin's Creed 3's combat. <laughs> uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, but chess with terrain boosts. So, Yu-Gi-Oh tactics. That could be interesting. Ah! You're... Like I said, everybody just has mental breakdowns when I beat them. All the time. But I just... I have, I have so many... And then he just disappeared. 
Wait, I have, I have a lot. A lot of games that I want to play. And another one of them is, uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. I may very well just go on a Pokemon kick and play Explorers of Sky after I beat this game for, like, my stream game. Because, like, originally I had a, like, a three-day, like, stream system for a schedule. Like, I think it was, like, Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday or something like that. Might have to bring it back. Don't know. And, like, one day I would stream one game, and then the other two days I would stream another game two times. So I might need to do that. I'll watch Explorers of uh, Sky, though I've never played it. I love the Mystery Dungeon games. I played uh, Blue Rescue Team a long, long time ago. I should have gone back to save. Oh, hey, it's on. Well, uh, I'll continue my thought. Because Blue Rescue Team. Love Blue Rescue Team. Game made me cry. And uh, I remember playing... Like, I, I think I beat Sky. It's been forever. Utterly forever. I I don't remember all that much about Sky. And that's why I'm really excited to jump back into it. Because it is also the fan favorite of all the Mystery Dungeon games. And then I can't wait to try Gates to Infinity and Super Mystery Dungeon. Of which never played Gates to Infinity and Super Mystery Dungeon. I played a bit, but again, don't really remember much of that either. Uh, as long as you don't mind <laughs> idiot self-asking questions. Of course. Gotta, uh, I really do like interacting with chat. It's a lot of fun. Now let's go to Ein. Good. This disc has been scrubbed of all data. That's done it. Ah! How did you get in without my notice? Ah, I see. You must be the much-talked-about Neon. Little did I expect to see you here. I am Ein. I'm in charge of this Shadow Pokemon lab. No one must be allowed to interfere with our Shadow Pokemon plan. I won't allow it. Let me acquaint you with the power of my Shadow Pokemon! Assassin's Creed 4 is mostly hated for ship stealth missions. Oh yeah, I, I, I actually heard about that, I think. Oh shit, this guy's high level. And I'm low on diddly Ds. Shit. Oh well, uh, we'll have to do good. But yeah, I think I remember, like, I don't know, a top 10 diddly D way, way back video that talked about that. Well, that's not good. He's probably going to one-shot. Well, let's try. But I do think I remember, like, there's this one mission that's, like, super hated to because it is stealth shipping. And it's just like... <laughs> that... I guess I can, it could be kind of cool in concept, like, hey guys, this is... Oh wait, I forgot, you're gonna lightning my poor dog. My dog cat, you bastard. And it's playing the funky music that Venus did. But, uh, back to thought. What do you mean it's not very effective? It's fucking electric water type! You bitch! Oh, you frustrate me. <laughs> you whore. I was like, I'm gonna use the ice power against the water type. Game, fuck you. Why? Why would you do this to me? That's very frustrating. <laughs> I played it in Assassin's Creed 4. It actually put me off Assassin's Creed permanently. Uh, stealth ship mission and super easy to get caught. Well, that is frustrating. That's kind of interesting. Because, like, for me, I didn't really mind, like, like, I don't know what my brain was going there. But yeah, I think I'm decent at, like, handling certain bits of weirdness in Assassin's Creed. It's just the base gameplay needs to be good. And the combat in Assassin's Creed 3... Not very good. I then rejoined the Assassin's Creed fandom with Odyssey. And then Valhalla happened. <laughs> like, 
I don't know what to think about, like, Origins, Odyssey, and stuff, because I don't really remember hearing too much about... Why do you get all the critical hits? Why do the enemy get all the critical hits? What the fuck, man? It genuinely kind of annoys me. These assholes just get all the critical hits. I don't. I don't like breakable weapons. I like my heavy bonk mechanic. For me, it depends on the type of, like, ba ba ba. It depends on the type of breakable and, like, how it's integrated into the main game. Oh, fuck off, game. <laughs> Whenever a, a turn waste mechanic hits me, it hits me hard. Turn waste mechanic doesn't hit enemy hard. How dare you? But, yeah, like, I don't mind the breakable weapon stuff in, like, Breath of the Wild. But, yeah, breakable weapon stuff is something that definitely is, like, requires delicate handling. And needs heftily, heftily to be incorporated. Let's use Pain Split. Hope you go first. I actually despise it in Breath of the Wild. Fair enough. It is a divisive and very... I guess personal-ish type of thing. Ah, damn it. How come my guy didn't go first game? Enemy Pokemon that are lower level than me go first all the time. How dare you? I think Fire Emblem does weapon dur durability better. I could see that. At least, at the, at the very least, I wasn't all that bothered by it when I played uh, Fire Emblem Awakening. Oh, you bastard. How many times have I used Thunder and not get paralysis out of it? This guy uses it once. Instant paralysis. You're making me think that you're cheating, game. You're making me think that you're cheating. Three times! Confusion hits it. Why? And now you're gonna go down. And a critical hit! Game, you're cheating right now. You have to be cheating. I don't get this luck. Why do you get this luck, you bastard? It's not even the rain dance that did it. At the very least, they got it as well. Like, they got, per like, paralysis proc. But why are you being such a bitch game? Why are you being a bitch? Alright, you're gonna Aurora Beam this guy. Hope the game goes like, oh, hey, it should work. Again, ice-type move against water. Why wouldn't it work? Why doesn't it work? It's fucking ice against water! What the fuck is wrong with you? It's the most basic thing. Oh, water gets frozen. Apparently not in this game. Apparently, ice fucking boils water. I guess. Make steam. You are a very bothersome game right now. How dare you. Confused and paralyzed. Oh, game, stop. <laughs> I hate things that waste my turns. It annoys me so much. You know what? I'm just going to use Surf. I'm going to see what happens when I do Surf. Let's do <laughs> Let's Surf, motherfucker. Why do you also have Surf? How dare you? It's going to, like, get a crit on both of them. This game is being mean right now. Ice to water's quirky, unpredictable sibling. 
It's just so weird. Just unbelievably. I hate you, game. That is so stupid. Confuse Ray. Everything is confusing. I hate it. Confusion is such a stupid thing. Especially since it can be t tacked on top of the paralysis. It's very annoying. Very bothersome. Let's see. Is there anybody that I bother to revive? I guess Lammy. And the worst part is this is just such a slow fight now. I hate it. Why do you get a critical hit? Fuck off. Hate you. I don't think I've got this. Actually, maybe I got like one critical hit. Maybe. Yeah. Just bothersome. It's all bothersome and I hate it. Okay, good. The attack went through. I would have been so frustrated if every single one of my Pokemon gets dominated by frickin' confusion again and again and again. Thank God that it missed. And... My limited hyper potion goes to you because they'll probably get a crit and instant kill you. I hate you. Confuse Ray should be like one power point. It's such an annoying mechanic. Hurt itself in its confusion. Should have a 1% proc rate. Just un it's so annoying. Crit super again game? This is cheating. They're literally cheating. That is not how this game... Fuck off. <laughs> the crit rate on the AI here is cheating. You cannot convince me otherwise. At least the AI will bug out and use double rain dance here. But Jesus fucking Christ. That is not fair game. At all. Oh yeah, I forgot you're confused and you're gonna hit yourself. Never mind, good. I just have no faith in this game playing fair with fucking confusion. It's such an evil thing. Confusion should not be allowed in video games ever. Did it heal from my lightning bolt, or did I miss? I, in particular, is one of the few trainers that actually, like, trains his Pokemon. Okay, we need to Thunderbolt you. We'll use your turn to Hyper Potion him. Confusion was done well until this game because it had a three-turn max limit. Definitely feels... Definitely feels like... It should have a max turn limit because, like, is... What do you mean, game? It's... Why is it that, like, anything that makes sense to be affected just doesn't in this game? Are you serious? Oh uh, yeah, let's just have a, have a guy not be affected. It's a fucking flyer. Oh, is it just like ma Did it just become a dragon? Is it just dragon? Or what? Big ol' fly boy, but it's not actually flying. How dare you? We're gonna have a winged creature, and it's not gonna be affected by lightning. Lantern is annoying Pokemon in this game. It has, uh... Lightning rod, yeah. Good, it got paralyzed. Just, just keep blasting, just keep blasting. Oh yeah, I forgot. Why could? Why would they remove the max turn limit for confusion? 
at last. Maybe in this game they're like, oh, you can call out to your Pokemon and waste a turn doing it. And then we're going to give a boss fight confusion up the ass. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, no. I'm low on healing. I have a few max heals. Okay, good. It didn't crit. I was half expecting it to. And now you're dead. Wait, I think you have actually an an ex another one, right? Oh, let's see. No, you're out. You're out. Stay out. Altaria is pure dragon here. I loathe it. I loathe it so. I'm gonna try and thunder wave you. And... Hmm. Timer ball would probably work well on Raikou. Yeah, because we've been here forever! <laughs> We have been here for five billion years! <laughs> Who are you gonna lightning first? God, that does a lot of damage. And now it's goddamn paralyzed. And now you're paralyzed, so I wasted my turn! Also, second time that first turn thunder by the enemy, instantly. Instantly. Just did it. Because that's not going to do a lot of damage. <laughs> and then we'll side beam you as well. Oh good, it snapped out of confusion finally. And now you're probably going to take out my, my poor Espeon. Because you do too much damage, you bitch. Probably should look. Oh, wait, I can actually look at a summary. And then the rain stopped. And we have to look at the arena. I'm gonna quickly take a look at my Pokemon. I just want summary. Just fire. Good, good. If rain dance, uh, thunder is guaranteed in this game with electro types. You mean uh, paralysis from thunder? Because that could make sense. Alright. I'm going to throw first timer ball and hope that it goes through. We've been here forever. He's paralyzed in half health. Get in the timer ball. Please. One. Fuck. This is why I don't go for the novelty balls. The novelty balls are worthless. We've been here for five years! Uh, the process increased crit rate and increased accuracy. Ah, everything is guaranteed over there. Like, do I have anything that's like... I guess you, you're the tank, technically. Now he's going to thunder, yeah, probably the my electric type Lammy, which pro hopefully won't do too much. What the, what the, what, 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 what? That's, that's stupid. How do you get to do that? And immediately paralyze, it's not even raining. You're very rude. I'm going to throw an Ultra Ball. I guess weaken you up some. And use, I think, my last hype. No, I used all my, my max potion it is. Thunder is pretty strong move guaranteed to hurt or kill most mons. It is very mean. But yeah, <laughs> that timer ball thing right there, that's why I don't use the novelty balls, because it just... It doesn't really work for me. Damn it. Well, you see, he's a very strong Pokemon. I do not care. He is being a bitch. Throw another Ultra Ball. 
And uh, I, I guess confuse Ray him as well. Might as well. So he can lightly hit himself. Can't hurt to keep trying. I believe you can do it. It's just annoying sometimes. Thank you, game, at least. <laughs> You're giving me that. Because the problem is I don't want to hit him anymore because then I know the game will give me, like, the first crit of the match that I've had. And I don't want to suffer. Because <laughs> I just know the moment that I try, the moment I do anything, pain. We'll try the timer ball next time. Because more than likely, if he breaks out, he won't be paralyzed again for a turn. Like, that's also another reason, because, like, it feels like he's not getting, like, weakened, which is annoying. And he missed. Thank God. Now let's try a timer ball. Get in the ball! Please. I'm mostly super paranoid because all my Pokemon are down. Yes? Yes? You son of a bitch! You are very mean. And like, I, I literally can't attack him. Or else he, uh, he will die. Granted, my confusion may very well kill him instead, but... Oh! I feel like they're kind of rude with catch mechanics late in this game. Oh, we it has to be difficult to capture the Shadow Pokemon. What the fuck do you want from me? He has status effect. He... God damn it. And I don't want to go through that fight again because that fight's bullshit. Fine, I'm just not going to have Raikou. Fuck you, game. At that point, it should just automatically get in the ball. Because, like, come on. One hit from death. Status affected. What more do you want? Oh, that's so stupid. You do get another chance to get him later. That's good. Hopefully away from stupid goddamn mechanic bullshit. Like that. It was just like, oh, we're gonna paralyze you. Oh, we're gonna confuse you. Again and again and again. At the end of this dungeon, where there is no healing, so you have to waste your resources. Like, game, you can choose one thing. Annoying catch mechanic, or no healing, or like, choose something. Don't throw it all. This, it, it defies belief. They gave Raikou specifically his Pokemon Gold Catch Rate. Ah. So even more shenanigans on top. Hmm. Your struggle to get here was all in vain. The Shadow Pokemon we produced have already been moved elsewhere. And that, of course, includes the ultimate Shadow Pokemon I created for the boss. <laughs> did, did he do like a jig before he ran away there? And data ROM. Data ROM? What is a data ROM game? A data ROM of some sort found in Ein's desk. That tells me nothing. It's a flibbity flu. What is a flibbity flu? Well, it's a flibbity flu that was found on Dr. Ein's desk. At least this should, like, get me out of here. I swear, game. I deserve freedom. Just let me out of here. <laughs> Plot relevant item. <laughs> it's just kind of amusing because it doesn't tell you what, like, a data ROM is. It's just a thing that exists. Is this place going to explode? Oh, hey, we got mail. From whomst. Lab data. Net from under. Oh, yeah, you stole some. Hi, this is Ned. If you find any data on the Shadow Pokemon Lab, please bring it to the under. I'll be waiting. B 
But yeah, I'm, I'm just so disappointed that the game would be that mean when throwing another legendary dog at the player. It's just... It's not a fun experience to deal with that. And yeah, just like... Throwing also the... Super difficult... Catch rate... From gold and silver on top of it, just... Just bothersome. Just utterly, utterly bothersome. Uh, think about it as a USB drive. That kind of makes sense. Man, that's just so frustrating. Sours the experience ever so slightly. Like, we were there so many turns. So many turns! And the game just went, oh yeah, b by the way, <laughs> that basically doesn't affect the timer ball at all. Like, I feel once you were there for as long as I was, considering, like, what the land turn did to me, I feel like my timer ball should have been classified as a master ball by then. Just utter madness. We're gonna buy all the Hyper Potions. Thank you very much. And a few revives. Because I feel like the game's going to be mean. Granted, it was only really mean because it refused the free healthcare heals. Hi, Neon. Did you meet up with that Silva guy? You were saying something about going to check the real Gam Tower. But where is this real Gam Tower anyway? Well, we're here, so we're gonna give, like, the data to you down here. And then we'll, like, check out Silva at the real Gam. Oh, Neon, how did it go? Did you find any data? Handed over the data wrong. Ah, now this looks interesting. Let's scope it out right away. Oh, hey! This data ROM appears to contain a list of shadow Pokemon that have been made so far. Ah, but no! It looks like they've wiped the data. Neon, please leave this with me. I'll somehow try retrieving some information from this data ROM, even if it means going over it little by little. Neon, as soon as I'll discover anything, I'll email your EPDA. Does everyone just s s pronounce the star? P star DA. P star DA. It's like if everyone in a movie... Eh? Has it finally been completed? Cypher's Real Gam Tower. There are rumors going around that they're planning to raise money for their World Takeover plan. <laughs> what do you mean? They're raising money at the Super Duper Takeover the World Tower. Uh, so you can face Ayn two more times. Oh boy. Wonder if I should try grinding some. Because, like, that was just frustrating to me. Frustrating. I don't know who to, like... I don't even know. Because I don't like grinding in games. Like, we'll continue on our way. Maybe... I don't even know. Because unless we get locked in the real Gam Tower... I don't think things should be too bad. But what we'll do is I will save here. Maybe see if the boss says anything. Sometimes I'm having to the bings. Or I can they're afraid of retribution. Blah, blah, blah. We'll save here. Go maybe uh, talk to the fortune teller. See if she has anything said. One is a guaranteed battle you'll know before you get there. The other one is a chance at a specific Colosseum. Interesting. I wonder which Colosseum it would be, because it seems like at this point there are... There's Finnec, Under, Pyrite, and presumably the real Gam Tower. I see, I see it deep under the ground. Well, it's not underground anymore. It's been taken. Yeah, my plan is, we'll go a bit longer checking out the real Gam Tower, and uh, then 
I might do some grinding on my own, just fighting random people, like the Insane Asylum. So that... I, I completely went to the wrong place, because just... I've just been going back and forth between there for so long. Ah, new music. Why is it a pseudo widow? Why is it pseudo widow? We've been expecting you. Now please, do go in. Hello, welcome to the Real Gam Tower. Today is our opening day. All right, three different ways. I'll check them all out. <laughs> you say Mirror B, he appears. He is the devil. <laughs> You've kept me hanging around, Neon. You ruined things in Pyrite for us. But you know we're not about to lose over and over to you. This time, I'll win. And I mean it this time. Let the music play. Oh, never mind that. We'll battle right away! <laughs> I called it that you do this. You are psychic. It's playing the tense music that, like... <laughs> playing the super tense music. Ludocolo. Ludicrous. Well, at least try to... Hmm. So we're all- we're going to fight all of the dudes again. I can only assume that, like, left is Mirror B, right's gonna be Venus, and up is gonna be Ein. And the, as we go to face their boss man. At least that's what I'm going to assume. I'm gonna see what happens when I use Gust on you. It's super effective and hardly does anything. Pain! Well, I guess I'll keep whittling them down. Not Giga Drain. Don't heal too much off that. I am going to have to move Frost out of this battle. <laughs> this time to show he's actually taking you seriously. <laughs> he only has one Ludocolo with him this time. They fixed this in Gale of Darkness to make it that every time you face him, he's, uh... got different music playing. Or different, he's got his theme playing. Oh, I, for some reason I played that as, said, read that as different for some reason. I'm dumb. Yeah, got his theme playing. <laughs> I do like that they kind of lampshade it in this one, though. Get the music playing. Ah, oh, you know what? Never mind. I'll just fight you. You use Waterfall, and he rises, and he killed my fucking Espeon like a bitch. Why'd you do that? Why would you do that, you little motherfucker? Why? Why do you get a critical hit? Why? You've gotten enough critical hits today! Double Y. In my opinion, enemies in this game shouldn't be able to use he healing items. Just no, you don't get to. Fuck off. You're already annoying. You don't get to be more annoying. At least I got turn one thunderbolt, lightning, whatever, paralysis. There is some nicety to the universe that isn't entirely evil. 
But still, you are mean, game. You're a mean one. You son of a bitch. You keep on getting crits. Every single time you hit me, it does more damage than I think, you bitch. Twice in a row! Oh, I'm angry. Oh, I'm angry. <laughs> Even when they don't have super effective, the game just goes, I'm gonna make it super effective by getting crits. I hate it. Why would you do this to me? You're gonna waterfall my lammy, aren't you? It's like the game wanted him to faint, so it was just like, we're gonna combo you. Because you know, that's fair. The most fair thing in the universe. That's so dumb. Like, dumb. Hate it. Like, genuinely, why? Why? At least I'll hopefully be able to go back and forth between towns between these guys. It's like, Jesus Christ. That is a tanky Ludicolo. Ah, goddammit, that's gonna faint the bow. At least he decided to use Rain Dance instead. I just realized he's had paralysis for a while. I'm gonna say this once, and I'm gonna say it only once. Don't you dare hyper heal that motherfucker. <laughs> Don't you dare. Hyper heal that Ludicolo. Don't you dare. Good. Now get out of here. You poncho wearing freak. Never mind the freak's back. <laughs> He's for an encore. Yeah, it's just such a weird thing where it feels like when they don't have super effective moves against me, they immediately start getting crits. And I hate it. You annoy me. We're gonna focus Loudra down. Oh, now you become confused, do you? On the day of your death, that's when you're confused. Oh, you're gonna throw a Shadow Pokemon at me, aren't you? Unless you're meant to just, like, throw out a... Sudowoodow. Armaldo. Every copy of Pokemon Coliseum is personalized! I can see it. I don't even know what type Armaldo is. Armaldo! Why haven't I been using Confuse Ray? See, this is why I don't use strategy, because when I have strategy, I don't use strategy. He's ground type. He, I guess... What the fuck? He has dive? Why does Ludicolo have dive? Who's he gonna hit? He... <laughs> Dive. It's the... <laughs> dive. It's the new dig. What? How do you dive into the floor? He's a reality warper now. You're a kid now. You're a Ludicolo now. Hmm. 
<laughs> Dives underwater, jumps out of water, hops towards you. <laughs> Oh, and you're just going to perpetually use Dive, aren't you? So that you can heal through Leech Seed. Confuse... Okay, good. Confusion anyway. So now if he tries to dive, he'll maybe hit himself. Yay. Huzzah. There is hope for the universe. From the dancing kappa poncho freak. Blah blah. Also, just gotta say, if the first Ein fight happened here, I would be like so less annoyed with it. Because I would be allowed to like soft reset and come back and try again. So much easier. It's the fact that he's at the end of a long dungeon. At least, well, at the very least, if Ayn is going to get a repeat, which I presume that he will, that at the very least, he'll be like Mirror B. He'll be standing there, and I get to prepare. That's at least something. At the very least, the only annoying thing about Mirror B2 is those very conspicuous, very conspicuous critical hits there. <laughs> That's it. As for preparing, I don't recall. I'll probably just buy more items and diddly. I'm an awesome dancer, but I can't win in battles! He's a dancer, not a fighter. This just won't do! But I'll admit you've beaten me thoroughly. Okay, since I'm done, I'll give you this. Here. Red ID badge. Neat. Think of it as a little gift from our great leader, Nascour. Don't leave without it, because you'll get nowhere. But you know, if maybe it'd be for your own good if you didn't go on. <laughs> Naruto runs away. He is a silly little man. But we've been going for three hours, so I do believe that we shall end it here. I'll go heal up and uh, save up at Fennec. Because we can. Ludicoto could dive underground because Mira B had a pool installed under him. So it's like stand. So that Ludo Colo was Jesus. It could choose to go under the water. Or that Mirror B made him dance so much that his sweat was enough to make him dive into solid ground. The acidic sweat of the Ludo Colo. Well, yeah. At the very least, it was a like the the secret lab. It was interesting. I'd say a bit too many ninjas falling from the sky, and. Uh, the fact that you... It, it, it's just kind of weird because Ein was an ob obligatory fight. Ein was an obligatory fight, whereas the other bosses, you could, like, go up to them. Mirror B. He's on his dancing platform, and you had to, like, go talk to him, I think. At the very least, you could see the Ludicolo dancing and be like, I'm gonna back out of here. With Venus, it's, I think, the same. Because, like, you got the right disc for the UFO, and she's just standing there, and you go talk to her in her studio. Meanwhile, Ayn is kind of the odd duck out in that he's at the end of a decently long dungeon. Although, maybe not as long as Mirror B's cave. But Mirror B's cave gave you healing. And here they're just like, oh, we're not gonna give you healing. He did he he Which is just... A little annoying. I get it. It's meant to force you to use your items. But... I don't know. I don't know. And yeah, quite the level jump, if I've got to say. So I'll definitely be doing some grinding on my own time. To level up my Pokemon. 
so that once we get to Ein, we won't get as stomped. But I quickly will go to the guy at the edge of nowhere and buy more items from him. We'll buy some maybe timer balls if they're like three-ish timer balls maybe. Because apparently Raikou is evil in this. We're gonna give him annoying diddly D. Why would you do that? You bastard. And they're very expensive too. Wonderful. And a few of these two. And I have like no money. Yay. I don't even have a Meowth to cheese money. But at the very least, hopefully, we'll get a second chance at that there Raikou. Granted, at this point in the game, it feels like we're winding down to the end, so I probably won't even get the opportunity to open Raikou's heart and use him. Because at the very least, maybe Ayn is the final dude at the end of the real Gam Tower. And then we need to, like, chase down Naskauer as he unleashes the true ultimate shadow Pokemon, and that'll be the final boss fight. And it was designed to jump you at the end because he's the brains of the Captain Admins. Or Cypher Admins. Also, don't forget Human Tribal Hulk. Oh yeah, I forgot about him! So, okay, updated theory. Left is Mirror B, right is Dakim. Up is Venus, and then, yeah, Ayn will be the end of the real Gam Tower. And then he'll be like, you're too late. Naskawa has left to conquer the world with the ultimate shadow Pokemon. Uh, you do get the chance to use Raikou. Oh boy. Well, I guess it makes sense there are three, like, time flutes, so that makes sense. I feel sorry for the fools who get the time flute and like, I'm gonna use this to awaken the heart of Mistrevis. And then they're like, why is Inte taking so long? <laughs> but yeah, still a lot of fun with this game. I do feel like some mechanics are a little clunky, like hyper mode. Again, the fact that you have to spend two turns to get rid of hyper mode and therefore whittle away at the dark soul of a Pokemon. Little clunky. The fact that shadow Pokemon are sometimes just absurdly hard to catch, like that Stantler was, or Raikou. Little annoying. It just feels... Then again, sometimes Pokemon does just go, and then this Pokemon's borderline impossible to catch. There is a glitch called wall walking that takes time, but is the fastest way to purify Pokemon. Interesting. I don't think I'll go out of my way to use glitches. Because, like, I don't think there's much point at this point. Because, again, there's going to be a third time flute, so I'll be able to instant unlock Raikou. And there's not really any other, like, shadow Pokemon that I want to purify, so it's not that much. <laughs> Aside from the time flute. <laughs> If there was a faster way to open the heart of a Pokemon besides the Time Flute, that would be impossible. But yeah, I do... One thing that I do find funny with this game is every single time they talk, apart, talk about the plan, it's not, oh, the plan, or our diddly D. No, it's just like, the Shadow Pokemon plan. And it's that again and again. Shadow Pokemon plan, Shadow Pokemon plan, Shadow Pokemon plan. There is no freedom. Shadow Pokemon plan. You know what? I just realized it's been five billion years. Let's go talk to the mayor before I before I sign off. He's like, oh, we're going to look into this. And I think he hasn't done anything. I am like 90% sure that he's Naskour at this point. Why else would Naskour leave this house and this guy just... He is Naskour, isn't he? <laughs> hey! Mare Man, who's done nothing this entire game! Oh, hey, alcohol. Or potions. But yeah. 
It would be, I swear. Like, there has to be something up with the mayor. They introduce him, and he's like, Oh, oh, oh I am the fat man, man, diddly -de -de. And the next time you come to his house, Neskauer comes out. The mayor is missing. And, like, I think Mirror B was in here or something, or, like, the Cypher agents. And so it's just like... Something has to be up with the mayor. He, he, he wouldn't be so important to the story and yet not do anything if he wasn't Nascauer. I swear. Although it's probably just conspiracy brain. Um, do you want a confirmation? It'll happen, like, uh, no immediate confirmation. This is just me ranting to myself saying it has to happen because it makes sense. But, like, more than likely, it's not. But, like, why else would the mayor exist? Unless, like, I'm actually the secret fifth <laughs> cipher agent. It just... The mayor is such a weird inclusion at this point. Like, you could replace the mayor with Justy. I feel like. Like, the mayor has no porpoise here. He's like, oh, we'll be on the lookout in this investigation. Meanwhile, we, like, immediately like, find Mirror B and stuff, so I, I don't know. And again, the fact... Uh, sk right? Yeah. It's just, the fact that the mayor has done nothing, Naskauer came out of the mayor's house. Something's coming, going on. Something is. Like, either that or somehow Naskauer is, like, Rui's grandfather. I don't know. The world's crazy. There has to be something going on with Nascar at this point. I don't know. Conspiracy brain just is going now. But again, this game is fun. A bit weird sometimes. But the fact that they have managed to make a Pokemon game where there are no random encounters with wild Pokemon, yet you still catch Pokemon, is really cool. It's a really cool thing. Ein has Lightning Rod for his next fight twice. Oh boy. <laughs> so. Maybe I want to go and level up like a ground type or something. Do I even have a ground type? What kind of Pokemon do I have? The main problem is that would be grinding, and I hate grinding. Let's see. Are any of you anything? I forget your typing. What is your typing? Water ground! Does that mean that you take normal damage from lightning, or does ground cancel that out? Dual typings confuse me. Then you're rock, right? And sturdy, but that only works for one-hit KOs. So, like, I have options. Furligator would work, I think. Woody. Ice and ground. Woody. But he's water. But I guess, like, uh... With, uh... Blah, blah, blah. His stats might be good. Add in surf. Maybe. And he's not that under-leveled compared to everybody else, so just take a bit of grinding. Because I'm... Hmm. I thought he was water ground, might be. <laughs> so, maybe level up Quagsire. So that we can bash up his water types and lightning types. And then at the very least, since he's ground type, he won't get nuked by... But that also means grinding his heart open. <laughs> One of them is going to be Raikou since you didn't catch him. At least that. So, yeah. I might try various different things. Like, considering everything, I might put Suicune away, bring in Quagsire during my grinding. We'll think. Oh, which would be his only electric type. He got rid of his lantern. Hmm. Then I guess, really, I could uh, leave behind my lightning boy. But then he have my power to par par paralyze. Hmm. I don't know. I'll think about it. 
I'll do some grinding and like try stuff. We'll see. Because I do want to try and get Raikou, but Shadow Pokemon catching at this late into the game is getting, getting bothersome. <laughs> but I'll, at the very least, I'll do some grinding so the late game won't be terrible when we get to the final battle, hopefully. I'll just need to find a good grinding spot. I think I was told Mount Battle was a decent grinding spot. Might go there. Might just go to the Insane Asylum. Who knows? But, yeah. Still liking this game. My minor quibbles. But nothing terrible. It's mostly the RNG. With, like, ooh, you get paralyzed. And then we're gonna confuse you. And then we're gonna get lots of crits. It's, like, stuff like that. If you can't catch them here, there is post-game content that'll allow you to get them. We'll see about that. But yes, I do believe that that will be it for now. We've been going for about three hours, and uh, Mount Battle and Tournaments are lovely grinding areas. Then we'll definitely do that. I'll check out some Coliseum battles on my own, and maybe take Mount Battle on my own. Because Mount Battle is basically go until you die, from what I hear, considering that it ends with 100, 100 level <laughs> Pokemon. And I just, I don't think that would be a fun thing to do, because I like the story. I like doing the story stuff. But who knows? But yes, we've been going for a while. We made progress. Again, the, the fact that they made an entire train only to blow up the train station to have that not be the way in amuses me greatly. Actually, no. Oh, so Mount Battle might be fun. Then what I might do is find grinding spots to do on my own and then begin next time trying to run at Mount Battle, maybe. You can tackle it ten battles at a time and save your progress. Interesting. Did not know that. Interesting. Thoughts will be put towards that. But yes. That'll be it for now. We made progress. We got our third story explosion, which amuses me greatly. Why did they have a bomb that powerful just on them? I'll never know. And we beat Ayn in an annoying battle and just went through the creepy laboratory. I thought we were going to do the laboratory last stream. Then we went into the under. I completely forgot that they name-dropped the under. And there was like a village under the other villages. Like, that was weird. <laughs> but we wandered around there last time. Yeah, so far, very fun. Can't wait for more. Feel like we're getting to the end. Might have two more streams in it, I think. Just estimating. But thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I have links to my link tree, linktr.ee slash neon icy wings everywhere. Link places, descriptions, bios, and links to my, like, edited content YouTube channel. I swear, edited content is coming. I swear, I am making progress. As well as... Well, Neon Icy Wings, the YouTube channel, all the edited content there. As well as links to my Twitch and streaming YouTube, of which the streaming YouTube also has all streams of the past uploaded to it eventually. Those are found there. If you want art similar to my little character in the corner, I try to draw and upload to a variety of different art places. There are far too many now, because the internet is burning to the ground. And I also write, so if you want to read stories I have doth written, links to those in there. And if you want to be kind and open up my heart as well, you can throw some dollary dues my way through my Patreon. To just, it's basically a tip jar. Maybe if things grow in the future, I'll try to make rewards. I don't know. Living is hard. <laughs> that evil squint. Uh, yeah, I, I, I need to learn how to actually utilize my expression buttons but it's hard <laughs> I have a lot of expressions but actively using them when they're relevant when I'm caught up playing a game it's hard yeah. but yeah all the all the links to everything I do YouTube videos streaming writing art and e-begging can all be found through my link tree but yes, thank you very much, everybody. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you dudes here next time, just in case we accidentally blow through Coliseum and get to the end. Like, 
I don't know. I, I need to make a schedule at some point, but schedules are mean to the brain. <laughs> but yes, thank you very much for everybody, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.